Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be painting my nails and sharing with you guys how I put together the galaxy nails that I shared with you guys on Instagram as well as in as in the project polish video. I had a few requests, so I thought I would do that today. Quickly, let me just share with you guys what you what I'm going to be using for this manicure. So, base and top coat, I have the CND sticky base and the INM out the door. These are all of the polishes that I'll be using. Color combinations really depends on you. I'll be sharing with you guys also some inspo pictures that I got online but I'm sticking with majority of these because they're in my project polish and I want to get some use out of them. So for the base I'm using Zoya's Indigo, this deep navy blue. The two glitters that I'll be using are one from China Glaze, this is called Skyscraper and this one's from L'Oreal, this is called Sexy and Sequence. So this guy has more of a purpley blue base and some silver micro glitter and then this guy has chunkier glitter so I have some gold, purple, silver and the base is a deep eggplant color. This one's a textured polish but what I want to get out of it mainly is all of the glitter and I like adding you don't need both of these but I wanted to make use out of this one especially because it's in my project polish and just add a little glitter variety. These two shimmer polishes here are also in my project polish so this is a li little sea blue shimmer polish from Wet n Wild. It's a little mini and this one from Nicole by OPI is called Inka Dinka Pink and it has a really pretty purple or blue flash. So what I like about these is because we're doing quite a bit of layering here these are a little bit more transparent and so anything that I put under it if I add a very thin because we're gonna be sponging some of these on you can still see some of the layers from um, that I placed under it which is looks really really beautiful and it adds this multi-dimension for the holographic topper I'm gonna be using this one from Orly I'll look up the serial number for the name of it because I lost the sticker so I don't know but this one's a silver holographic and the particles of this are quite a bit larger but if you want to use something a little bit more fine, the INM Northern Lights, these, I think this would look really beautiful as well, just to kind of add a little bit more sparkle and that rainbow look on the nails. And I am going to be dotting on some little stars with this white polish from Orly. This is called Blanc, Point Blanc, and it came in my color pass, but any white polish I think will do. A few other tools that I'll be using are a toothpick. You can use some dotting tools, but for the previous manicure, I just used some toothpicks. Pretty much anything with a very fine point will work for the little white stars and then I also have some tweezers here to pick up these small little sponges here so these sponges I'll be using to sponge on some of the glitter polishes and some of the shimmer polishes and I'm trying to tear them up pretty small I may require some cleanup because I'm not going to be using latex but you're more than welcome to I'm just too, I'm too lazy to do it right now I'm just starting off with the base coat here which is a CND sticky base and I may skip through some of these parts just so that this video is not overly long so that we can get to the fun fun part of sponging on <laughs> the glitter and the other shimmer polishes. I'm going to start off with indigo first and I'm going to do two coats of this guy although the formula of this is really good it's a one coater but I usually don't do anything less than two coats. And I'm really, really shaky today for some reason. Oh no, I got some on my cuticle. I think I overdid it on the coffee. But it's really weird because I don't normally get um, shaky. I may just do one coat on camera just to save on time. Color base really depends on, on you. We'll pull up some pictures in a little bit because there's different, you don't have to stick to just this color base. You can also use black. Someone in my project polish suggested also a pastel galaxy, which sounds amazing. But because I have this in my project polish, I wanna make really good use out of it. And I like this one by itself, but using it for galaxy nails is just so much better. You could probably just paint your nails the night before if you like and have your base already done and then the following day move on to the nail art and you know sponging on the other colors. It's not a difficult manicure to put together but it there's a little bit of layering that goes into it. Although it doesn't take a long time to dry because because we're sponging glitters on and Usually when you're sponging on, a lot of the base is absorbed by the sponge because the focus is basically going to be the glitter. 
it doesn't, that part doesn't take long to dry either. So if you do want to save on time, you can paint your nails the night before. I did the second coat off camera and did a little bit of cleanup. I wanted to show you guys before we get into all of the sponging. I googled Galaxy into Google Images and just going down. If you want to find inspiration for color combinations and stuff like that, this is a really great way to do it. So this one, for instance, here has quite a bit of blue. There looks like a pinky orange, purple, white, and a little bit of red. It looks so gorgeous, right? Just to give you an idea, you don't have to stick to the colors that I'm using. Look at how beautiful this one looks. Ooh, that's so pretty. This one, for instance, also has some yellow incorporated. Look at that, that's beautiful. And there's another one, this one here has some blue, green, look at that, a little bit of orange and stuff for the little stars. You can also use, I actually debated on using maybe um, a silver polish for the little stars. I think that would look like an icy, icy silvery color. I think that would look really beautiful. So you get my drift. Um, just in case you guys want to maybe get some color combinations or get an idea of where to place your little stars or get an idea of where to place the colors. I'm going to start with Sexy in Sequence from L'Oreal. Look at how gorgeous this polish is. When I initially did the manicure, I actually used, or if you don't have a mat, you can use a plate a plate to pour the polish into. And this is where our little sponges come in. They're really, really tiny. So you can see that there. So that I can have better control of my placement. And I'm gonna use my little tweezers here to pick it up. Before you do this, if you have some latex and you wanna avoid a little bit of the mess, you may wanna apply your latex first and then go in with all of the sponging. So I'm gonna start with this nail right here. And I'm gonna get it as close to the cuticle as I can and I'm gonna run it at a diagonal here and try to get as much of that glitter onto the nail. I'm gonna pick up some more and then on this nail I'm gonna come at a diagonal but coming the other way, the opposite way of the index and just Dab it in. Having the little pieces already ready saves you on time. Oh no, I did it the other. That's okay. I'll pick up a lot of that glitter. Just sponge it on and bring it into the edge there. Grab it here for my pinky, same thing. I think I may just do this hand on camera because the other one, for some reason, whenever I, I do these kind of videos, it's so hard for me to, it's so hard for me to get it in, in view where you guys can see it a little bit better because of the way my, my camera is angled. So we'll see if I leave those clips in. I need a little bit more of that and grab it from here. Okay, I think I have a, a good amount. This is a really easy nail art. It doesn't take a lot. It just takes a little bit of layering. And because we're sponging the colors on, it doesn't take a long time to dry because the sponge just absorbs a lot of the base. So you're pretty much left with just the glitter, which dries almost instantly, I would say. And you can always come back and layer more if you want to after you've added other layers. I don't know why it looks so dark on my viewfinder, so I hope I don't have to lighten up or brighten up the video so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna go in with Skyscraper. And this one has more of a silver glitter, but it's a micro glitter. I'm not gonna focus this guy everywhere where I did um, uh, Sexy and Sequence. More than anything, I want this guy just kind of scattered. Oh, let's see, let's add some there, maybe here, a little bit over here. So keep it a little bit more controlled than Sexy and Sequence, I would say. Let's do some right there. Grab a hold of this guy a little bit better. As you can see, this can get a little, little messy. 
Initially, it's not gonna look too hot, but be patient. Initially, when I did the Galaxy nails, I added one coat of this holographic top coat over top of indigo before I went in with the glitter, and then I added another coat of it after, but I felt like it was a little bit too much, so this time around, I only wanna add one coat of it. So I'm grabbing Inka Dinka Pink from Nicole by OPI. Grab my little sponge again. And I'm going to dab some of that off because I want a wash of that color. I don't want too much of it. And I'm adding this where I didn't add the glitter. And maybe even on top of a little bit of the edges of the glitter. But I want a, a wash of this. I don't want it to be fully opaque. Because once that top coat is added, it'll, it'll bring it to life. And it'll almost look like it's shifting colors. It looks so beautiful. So I'm just going to add a little bit over here, kind of across from each other. And same thing over here. If I feel like I added a little bit too much, I'll just go back with the sponge to help absorb the excess. If the sponge feels like it's starting to get a little tacky, I grab a new sponge. Otherwise, it, you're going to have uh, pieces of the sponges on your nail. So there I covered a little bit too much with that pink, do you see that? So I'm gonna grab a little bit more of Sexy and Sequence and just go over it again, just so we don't lose it. It's gonna seem like a lot, like it may end up looking thick, but it, it doesn't because you're sponging it on. So they're very, very thin layers. And this is why I do recommend the latex. Don't be lazy like me, because you're gonna get polish everywhere if you don't. Mm, let's make sure that that's... So this is what it's looking like. It looks very, very crazy, very, very messy, but it's all right. And they don't have to be uniform, by the way. If you want to sponge it on in different areas, go ahead and do that. Feel free. That's the beauty of this, is that it doesn't require for you to be too specific. I mean, you have to be careful, but not too much, really. Be free with it. Have fun. All right, I'm grabbing that sea blue color, and I'm just going to add a little bit of that. Just a dash of this because I'll go back in with this color after. And I'll layer it again. I'm going to dab some of that sea blue over top of the glitter. And even in the center, why not? I think I'm going to grab a little bit more of Sexy and Sequence just to bring out the glitter again. Like I said, quite a bit of layering. All right, let's see. All right, so that's the mess that we've made so far. Let me do a little bit of cleanup and then I'll add the holographic top coat here. And I think that's when you really start to see it come together a little bit more. I feel like I need a little bit more of that sea blue polish just a little bit maybe over here right there let's overlap it over top of the pink a little bit and I'm using 100% acetone and my little elf brush to do the cleanup the only one that's gonna be a little bit of a pain to remove is the glitter from Sexy and Sequence. That one tends to uh, sticks to the skin. If you guys have done Galaxy Nails before, let me know what color combinations you guys have used because the one that I did previous to this one was my first time doing Galaxy Nails. And so I didn't know what I was doing. I watched a couple videos. And so I kept having to rewatch and rewatch and rewatch and stuff like that. So they were very helpful to me. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Okay, I think we're almost there. Next time that I do these nails, I think I am gonna use the uh, INM Holographic Top Coat for the little sparkle because I wanna see how it looks like with very fine holographics. This time around though, I wanted to still 
use the orally one because it's the one that I used for that manicure and since you guys wanted to see that manicure I thought I would still use the same one. I did the cleanup as best as I could. I'm going to have to wash the rest of the glitter off. There's quite a bit left. I'm going to go in with the topper, the holographic topper from Orly. And this, this is, look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Looks beautiful. And I'm only going to add one coat of this because it gives me more than enough of the little hollows. Because I'm running pretty low. It does, it does load up it initially or immediately better yet. You can skip this if you like. If you don't want the hollow, that's fine. But I think it looks really pretty with all of the different layers. You see how it kind of changes a little shifting of the purple. Where am I? Here. Do you see how it changes it a little bit? So it looks like it's almost shifting the purple and the blue. Oh, that looks so pretty. If you want to leave it here, I think this still looks really beautiful. It still looks multi-dimensional, but I'm going to add little white specks for the stars and just any old white polish will do. As long as it's a fine point, I think it'll work out just fine. And then you can do different sizes if you want. Maybe just kind of scatter them. However you like. Just a couple tips here, guys. Compared to my initial manicure, I feel like I added too many stars for this mani, and they were a little bit too large. So doing a few per nail and doing varying sizes, keeping some of the stars on the micro side and some a little bit larger looks better in the end. Wiping off the tip of the toothpick in between application also helps because the white polish does build up at the tip and creates larger stars. Just space them out as you please. Some can be closer, some further away. I've seen some people even drag them like little stars. I think that looks really beautiful. And what I did before also, in certain areas, let's say this one for instance, let's do that with this one. If I felt like I didn't have enough blue after I added my top coat, let's say, but let's do this before we add the top coat because I'm seeing it in this one. What I did is grabbed a little bit more of the blue and layered it over lightly, especially like over top of the white little dots because I feel like that makes it look even more multi-dimensional because you see the stars behind that little blue flash. Let's do that on some of the nails. I think that would look really pretty. And then let's put our top coat. I did that the first time because I noticed after I had added my top coat that I wanted a little bit more blue and I love the way that looked. Over top of the little white dots, I thought it looked even better. I don't know if you can see the difference. Look at this, how visible the white dots are to where this one, some of them kind of hide behind the blue. That looks really cool. I'm actually going to let these dry and add a little bit more of that blue flash because I think it looks beautiful. I just remembered that I'd done that. I even forget what I do. And you can do that with the pink one too. I think that would look pretty. And some of them, I'm going to do it over top of even the pink. I think that would look pretty. Let's do that on this side to hide some of the some of the white little specks there. That'll look pretty. Okay, let's go back in with our top coat again. That's better. Because those shimmer polishes are transparent, they layer nicely whatever nail art you put under them 
Because then you can still see your design under it. It's so pretty. So it allows some of the stars to be a little bit more um, visible because they look white. But some of them, they look slightly tinted because of the polish that we put over top of it. Alrighty. That looks really pretty. I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to do a little bit more cleanup. Certain areas like my pinky here that's a little messy and then I'm going to wash my hands and put my Vaseline on and then we'll come back. Not we, but I'll come back and show you guys the finished nails. But this is, you guys can get a really good view of what they look like now. I think they look so beautiful. They're how beautiful they look. I'm so obsessed. I can't wait to try the pastel galaxy that Sierra recommended because that sounds friggin' amazing. I just don't know how I would do it, but you know, I'll figure it out. I went ahead and washed my hands and cleaned off the glitter as best as I could. So this is a final result on the nails. Let's see if we can do closer. Let's do closer, shall we? Right there. You guys can see it close up. I think I went a little bit too large on some of the stars, but that's okay. I think from afar, it's not too noticeable. Look at that. From the sides. Do you see how it shifts here? Do you see that? You can see, you can't see the pink and then all of a sudden you can see it. Oh, they look amazing. I love them so much. I don't think I can get sick of these nails, to be honest with you. And... Stelly, stop barking. If uh, you guys end up doing some galaxy nails and felt inspired by this video and you follow me on Instagram, I'm going to link my... Not link, but I'm going to list my Instagram handle here on the screen. I always have it linked at the bottom as well. Go ahead and tag me. I would love to see your work of art. And let me know how much fun you had putting your manicure together. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you to those of you that requested this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.